Welcome to this edition of Weekend Review, along with Hannah Luttrell and Ganim Hannah. I'm Marlon Paley, giving you the latest of what's been happening this past week at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Uh, we're going to talk about GPS. Now, many of you know that is a global positioning system, but it's got another meaning as well. Also, CC, you know it is as Christian Connections. Got some really great news for that. And we're also going to be visiting your cards and letters among other conversations here on this edition of Week in Review. But let's start off with uh, GPS. Uh, who wants to tackle that one? Get him? Well, Marlon, <laughs> GPS. All right, we've talked about that for the last few weeks. We're delighted that GPS program is coming to LLBN. It will premiere in May, and it will give us the hours. GPS, the name of the program is GPS, and what it stands for, God Prophetic Surprises. Yes, surprises. So you really want to watch this program. is hosted by Pastor Dan Smith uh, with his colleagues, Sigva Tonstad, Dr. John Pauline, and Sarah Cologne, uh, a young pastor. So it's a great program. You've never heard Daniel the book of Daniel and Revelation covered in such exciting light because it's all about the good news of these two books. Mm -hmm. What times are they going to air, Hannah? Well, uh, they're going to be airing, uh, when these are the times, on uh, Mondays at 3 a.m., Wednesdays at 7 p.m., Fridays at 11 a.m., and Saturdays at 3 p.m. So that's all California time, let's Pacific be clear. Pacific time. That's right. So our director, I'm sure, will give us the Eastern time and the Pacific time for our viewers' convenience. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to the series as well. I can't wait for it to start. I've heard lots of good things. And it's just it's an important topic. And I think we have great presenters. And I think there'll be wonderful information to learn. And I had the pleasure to be during their tapings. Uh, I tell you, it's different, truly different. And it's very positive because anything about Jesus' second coming it's great news. And I, 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 I'm delighted that these wonderful men and women will gift their time and energy to the ministry of LLBN and for the love to our viewers to understand the word of God through Daniel and Revelation. Yeah, I mean, Revelation is a pretty confusing book for a lot of people, yeah. and it'll be shedding some great light on what it really means. Here's the interesting, Marlon is the interesting part. Sometimes they go verse by verse. They're trying to cover every chapter in details and, and see how it even applies to our today events. So it's exciting. It's warming up as we tape more of those. And we look forward to these premiere times. That's right. So is it going to be pre presented in a different way? What's, what makes it different than, you know, all the other... Uh, you got a whole Daniel Revelation series kind right. of thing. We Adventists who being we grew up understanding and hearing sermons and studying Daniel's and Revelation, we're comfortable with it. But for the rest of the world, it's frightening, and to young people, it's a, it's a not an area of interest. Primarily, because of the way it can be presented, that could look very frightening, and. For young people, it takes hope away rather than give them hope. So watching these programs, it gives you hope and understanding of Christ's second coming and how God, through prophecies and through His ways, not only would reveal things, but also will guide us through these times. So it's really different. It's more about hope rather than fear, because in everything you can look at it two ways. You can look at it as good news. It's always good news. but. You can look at it as good news while you're scared, or you can look at it as good news, and there's no reason to be scared. And the whole idea is to draw non-believers, but especially the young people who I tell you, anyone out there would know, they're walking out of the church, they're walking away from their families and church in massive numbers. There's a lot of wonderful young Adventists who are in the church and very active, but also there's a lot more who are not staying in the church. So these fine people are gifting their time and energy for the sole purpose to bring in our children back to the church. Mm. And we need to pray for their success and the ability to be effective in how they reach out 
to this generation? I think the quality of the speakers we have, we have all these great minds together. Pastor Dan Smith, Dr. John Pauline, Dr. Sigma Tonstad, Pastor Sarah Cullen. It's, it's, I think just that combination of people is it's just it's just explosive with mm. energy and information. Well, well what I do like we know about Sarah Collins? I'm not, I've never met Sarah Collins. She's a young uh, female pastor from Garden Grove, the Seventh-day Adventist Garden Grove Church. She works under the leadership of Pastor Dan Smith. Uh, she is the one who try to bridge the information with these scholars to younger generation. She is the young generation advocate to ask things from their perspective and to bring it to comparisons and parallel to real life conditions that young people would understand and can relate to today. Whether it's through school or through their social life or through their world events they hear about and they ignore and so on. Hannah, when's it start? It starts in May, first week of May. Mm -hmm. And um, again, the times are 3 a.m. Mondays, Wednesdays at 7, Fridays at 11 a.m. and Sabbaths at 3 p.m. times in Pacific. Um, the program actually will be followed by views, um, which will be, there will be new airing times for that as well. That's pretty exciting. Now, let's uh, go on to more exciting news. Uh, what do you have for us on the CC? Christian That's Connections. Christian Connections. Is it exciting news or more work news? Well, you're going to tell <laughs> us. <laughs> well, Marlon, you've been drafted, you and Hannah, uh, by popular demand. Uh, we are re-resurrecting the Christian Connections program. It used to air before in previous years, live every Tuesday and playback during the weeks. We've done it for many, many years, and then we kind of stepped back away from it. And it was just recently we resumed that program live one Friday at the end of each month. And folks started asking, why are you doing it once a month? You know, why can't this be back weekly? And based on that demand, we are resuming Christian Connections live every Tuesday from 6 to 7, California time. But we have full-time jobs. Well, oh. you <laughs> clock out from your job at 530 <laughs> Grab a bite and be here at 6, Marlon. Well, actually, you need to be here at 5.30. So uh, I'll make sure I'll do the open while you chew your food. Let's give you time to swallow, and then we'll Thank go to you. Very much. <laughs> and for viewers who aren't able to catch it live on Tuesdays at 6, it will also repeat a few more times as well. Uh, Thursdays at 10 a.m., Sabbaths at 6.30 p.m., and Sundays at 2 a.m. Again, those times are in Pacific. I'll tell you what, Christian Creek Connections is not like you have seen <laughs> before because it's going to be some different new stuff. Right, Hannah? Right. So it's going to be a variety of different interviews, different people we're going to invite to the program. Uh, great music. So you want to stay tuned for that. Yeah, I love that music. Well, mm -hmm. We've got some really good talent, talented music here in Loma Linda. And uh, also, I mean, the, the quality of our hosts are... You know, you're talking about the other show, GPS. You can beat Sigve Tonstead and uh, John Dr. Pauline, Pauline Dan Smith. And, and Dan Smith. Boy, he's a, a big favorite on LLBN. So. One thing I, I have to say, and I have to resonate this, this, this statement over and over, big gratitude, big thanks and gratitude for these people, Dan Smith, John Pauline, Mm -hmm. Sigma Tonstad and all the other pastors who leave their churches and their responsibilities to come in in LLBN studios for free of charge, they refuse payments to support the ministry of Jesus. Please keep mm -hmm. those people in your prayers. Please send your letters to recognize for what they're recognize them for what they're doing. And uh, uh, all I can say, it's the power of Jesus that helping us bring these wonderful people to help to spread the good news of Jesus. And they have true fire inside them to serve and to teach. Because I'll tell you, those people don't get a chance to see their families enough. They don't get enough time to rest. They do make big sacrifices for the ministry. That's and like great. us, they're volunteers. They, they don't get they any, are indeed. Uh, well, they're full -time jobs. Or, or anything like that. Yep. And you nice. guys make it possible because you provide the set, you provide the camera, you pr provide the airways. So you're making all this happen at LBN. Keep it up. 
the Lord will bless you, as you already know, because he has blessed you. Look around. Uh, we have a pretty good life here in Loma Linda and all through the country because God's mercy is upon us. So mm. share it uh, with ministries like LLBN and uh, others. So, Amen. Uh, you know, Marlon, um, grandparents, parents, you need to watch GPS and you need to use it as a tool to give to your children and grandchildren a program that we're gonna make it available for young people, not to necessarily sit in your home to watch it on satellite, but it'll be available to them through their mobile devices, their cell phones. It's gonna be very accessible for them from anywhere mm -hmm. at any time, in addition of Aaron on LLBN. Mm -hmm. And between them all together, just a minimum average, you get 80 or 100 years of experience of study of the Word of God coming together in weekly one half hour show. Right, and the programs also be available on our website as well for viewing. It will be available in many, many formats. Oh boy, we can just talk for yeah. hours about that and the distribution, but we have to move on. Prayer line, Anna, what can you tell us about that? Well, our, our lines are actually open. Um, do you have the time that our lines are open? Yes, I do. So go ahead. Um, the prayer lines are open every day, seven days a week. Uh, from morning till midnight uh, Eastern time, which you'll see the times here on the screen. Uh, that's, that's, you know, I mean, that's open almost 12 hours, if not 11, 11 to 12 hours a day for your prayers. You have a burden, need, uh, someone need to talk to, to share your, your troubles, need someone to pray with you. This is our gift to you whether you donate or not, this is available to everyone who is in distress, someone in need to pick up the phone, call us at the number you see on the bottom of your screen, talk to our trained chaplains who can help and pray with you and trained operators. It's a service that we purchased, but it's a great service to our family of LLBN and all those of need. Call the number below on your screen and have a prayer with someone. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is always listening and uh, without prayers, I tell you, we would lose hope. Purchase service by Seventh-day Adventist. It's a Seventh-day Adventist organization mm -hmm. that we contract with them, which so, so happen it's the same number you call, you can make a donation to as well. Oh, ask questions if they have any questions or want to schedule, if you want to schedule, have questions, want to Would they send them a schedule if they call that number? Mm -hmm. Free schedule, right? Yes, that's right. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you can get free schedule, any additional information, that's the place to call? Yes, same, okay. and the same number to make a donation as well. So as long as we're talking about that, uh, where are the different ways that people can get involved with the LBN? Well, um, first and foremost, uh, prayer is always something that uh, keeps the ministry running. Uh, we also welcome gifts, financial gifts, and those can be given through calling the line that Gana mentioned. They can come through the website at www.llbn.tv, and they could also come through the mail to P.O. Box 550, Loma Linda, California, 92354. Time for a short letter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one comes from Charlene in California, and she writes, thank you so much for your many good programs. I have Parkinson's disease and heart problems, so I don't get out much, especially to church services. And um, thank you for your programs. Sincerely, Charlene. Oh, Charlene, thank you for those wonderful words of encouragement. We surely will add you to our prayer list so the Lord will give you ease and comfort in, in your distress. He's just around the corner. He's on his way. And so we thank you for helping him come faster still. That's all we have time for here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Stay tuned for the next edition of Week in Review.